Hi, this is Eric Jacobus. I'm the stunt coordinator for Midnight Fight Express. And we're here at the Super Alloy Interactive Studios in Las Vegas. And this is a T-Pose. <laughs> this is the motion capture system that we use for Jacob's game. It's called an Xsend system. <laughs> One of the things that Jacob was really adamant about is doing counterattacks in this game. This allows the player to see an incoming attack from any direction and counter it with some really cool action move. But we used actually eight different weapons when we were capturing the weapon combat in the game. One of them is the uh, the baseball bat, which is a foam bat. It still hurts, but we have a machete here. This is what we used for the pool cue and all the long weapons in the game. Crowbar. I think this was for the sledgehammer because this is kind of heavy. What's nice about motion capture is that it doesn't actually matter what prop you use. It just has to get the job done on the set. In the game, it could turn into anything. <laughs> We also motion captured the bosses in the game. We base these characters off of people in the real world. We based one off of a sumo character that we had in our movie, Kung Fu vs. Zombies. And we based them off of ourselves, too. We just throw our own moves in there. Jacob is really cool about that. He said, Eric, I want you to be a boss in my game. And I want you to throw some of your kicks in there. I don't know if his beard is going to be as good as mine, but we'll see how he turns out. <laughs> People love big impacts in games and movies. Jay and I collaborated with Jacob to try and find some really interesting ways to do big finishers, big knockbacks, big kicks, big throws, big slams. Cool. It's okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> The nice thing about motion capture is that we don't actually have to hit each other. We can do something called offsetting where Jay stands five feet over here to my right and I throw a punch and he reacts. When you put us together in the game, it looks like I hit him. Now sometimes obviously we should get the real impact so that we have the right reaction, but it's not always necessary. Sends allows us to keep making killer action content, both on the big scale for AAA titles, but also for indie projects like this one. And we really hope that you enjoy the indie spirit behind this game. Uh, a lot of heart went into this one. Let us know what you think.